Hi, Julian here from the Surf.net team. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demo of ADA Prospector, which is part of Advanced Prospector, a tool that's included in the Surf Agency add-on. As you may already know, with Advanced Prospector, you can find sites that are not mobile friendly, that are not on HTTPS, that are too slow, or that don't use AMP. You can also find local businesses that are not listed in Google's map pack, as well as sites that simply don't rank well in Google. So you can get in touch with their respective owners and offer them your services, including your SEO services, of course. So ADA Prospector is a new option here, which allows you to find websites that are not ADA compliant and send their respective owners an email to let them know how you can help them achieve compliance. So what does ADA mean? The ADA, short for Americans with Disabilities Act, which became law in 1990, prohibits discrimination on the basis of disability in places of public accommodation. ADA lawsuits previously focused on physical access barriers to businesses. However, in recent years, new lawsuits have been filed successfully against companies alleging that private company websites qualify as places of public accommodation and websites with access barriers, so websites without compatible screen reading software, deny plaintiffs the right of equal access. Therefore, businesses that do not take steps to comply with the ADA may face legal consequences, such as a lawsuit alleging non-compliance, damage to reputation, as well as FT fines. The idea here is to get in touch with site owners whose websites are not ADA compliant, so you can let them know and help them achieve compliance. So let's do a search. I click here. Here, you simply need to enter a keyword, any keyword. Then you must select a search engine, google.com, for example. You can even choose a language. ADA Prospector is currently available in English and German. Then click on Scan Results. The search is going to take a few minutes, so now is a good time to grab a coffee. All right, we're back. Here are the results. So no need to contact site owners whose websites are already compliant. However, other site owners may be interested in making the website ADA compliant. We have a bunch here. So in short, ADA Prospector scanned Google's top 100 results and searched for contact details. As you can see, the tool found some contact details using the Whois database. To open the ADA audit report, simply click on the three dot icon here and on view info. As you can see, the system checked quite a few aspects of the page, alternative text, form labels, headings, buttons, and so on. Let's check form labels. So as you can see, there are a few missing labels. Please note that this report only covers an assessment of ADA non-compliance on certain sections of the web page, as shown in this report. We do not guarantee that by complying with this report, you or your client will be 100% fully ADA compliant. Let's go back to the results page. So here, you simply need to select the sites worth contacting. Then click on email slash download prospects. You can choose a company profile. So your logo and contact details are displayed at the top of the report prospects will receive. You can write a short introduction, which will be displayed at the beginning of the report. Make sure there is an email address for each website. Please note that these private email addresses work. If you send an email to this email address, the site owner will receive it. If the email address is not provided by our system, we invite you to visit the website or Facebook page of the business in question. On a lot of occasions, you will be able to find an email address you can use. If you don't want to spend any time looking for missing email addresses, you can use our Hunter.io integration. All you need to do is to add your Hunter.io API key to your sub.net profile. Once this is done, if ADA Prospector can't find a prospect's email address in the Whois database, it will send a request to Hunter.io which should be able to find it for you. You can write a short summary here, which will be displayed at the end of the report. As you can see, you also have the option to export this data as a CSV file. Then click on next step. In this step, you must write the email that will be sent to the site owners you selected. We provided you with an email template with some short codes that you can use. You can modify this email, of course, or write your own email and then save it as a template. This is completely up to you. You have the option to preview the email, of course, if everything is okay, click on send email. Please note that before you can send emails from our system, you must add your SMTP details to your sub.net profile. To do so, go to my profile and click on the integrations tab. You can use SendGrid, Melgun, or any other SMTP provider. If you don't want to use an SMTP provider, no problem. Simply use a CSV export function and email these businesses the way you want, using Gmail, Outlook, or any other email service provider. Then simply wait for your email notifications to start pinging, or your phone to ring. Not everyone will get back to you, of course, but even if only three or four site owners get back to you out of 100, 
is still three or four leads, right? For just a few minutes of work. Last but not least, you can access your email history from the results page to see who you contacted exactly, what email they received and so on to keep track of everything and make sure you are not missing any important information. All right, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or feedback, don't hesitate to get in touch with our friendly support team by clicking here and on submit a ticket.